It depends on what mood I'm in, actually. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I love the seal's face. I, I really it's do. A cute face. Wednesday of the week is now half over. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that would be a fuzzy. Yes, it's a fuzzy. And that would probably be one Your of the... Death. Y- yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Because I would just love to go up to the seal and go, hi. <laughs> no, you, 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 but that's, uh, that is true. But you're, you're dismissing the comment here that he's trying to start a flaming war between oh, no, Star I'm Wars and Star Trek. I'm not dismissing it. I am trying... I am not <coughs> dismissing it. I am just trying to avoid it and stay out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, for, for me... It ha- I have to be in the right mood for one or the other. And depending on which mood I'm in, one is better than the other. This shirt I've had since I was probably ooh, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in that <laughs> general vicinity. <laughs> so uh, I don't have any decent Star Wars shirts. And uh, there was no laundry done this morning. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so uh, wow. this is what I ended up wearing. <laughs> I do love them both. When, I, when I'm when I'm feeling hopeful, you know, I, I watch certain ones. When I'm when I'm feeling depressed, I watch other ones to make me feel hopeful. And yeah, it's just one of those things. I love them both, though. And and what's uh, uh, other than the age of the shirt and the fact that it looks pretty much new? Um, what else is special about that shirt that I didn't know about the first time you wore it? That it's a trivia shirt. That it has things on the back. Yeah, the answers are on yeah. the back. Uh-huh. You get the trivia questions on the front, and you got the answers on the back. Yeah, huh? You didn't know that. That's uh, funny. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's how that works, Lois. <laughs> I just the worst never part about it is, is I am at such a, a high level of nerdiness or geekiness or whatever you want to call it. I know. The amount of details and, and, and knowledge and information that I have stored that is completely worthless in my brain about both Star Wars and Star Trek is uh, unbelievable. <laughs> it's uncanny. I don't know about uncanny. It, it is. It, it really is. You, you would do well at either convention. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to both. <laughs> Um, Greg is saying it is amazing the negative comments on the elections by some people. Neg- uh, from uh, last night's post? I, I believe so. Oh. Uh, um, I, I didn't see that many negative ones. Did you? Uh, I I was actually not paying attention to those. You were paying attention to those. Vegas, I was yes. I was paying attention to when the updates were coming yeah, in. She, she was coming up with the updates. <laughs> Speaking of which, congratulations are in order for the new queen. Uh, uh, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> All hail the queen! You were so full of it. Lois made it. <laughs> Lois is uh, is is now a a counselor person. A counselor person. Person. <laughs> Does that mean you're I not, love oh. that you're doing air quotes with person. <laughs> yeah, you're not really a person. You're just a pain in my butt. <laughs> well, that's my job. Me. <laughs> And uh, Mary says, wow, can't believe you said that about the laundry. Guess she will be making you do your own for now. (laughs) I do it anyway. He does. (laughs) It was supposed to be funny, but it's not like she does it anyway. (laughs) Oh, wait a minute here. (laughs) Oh, we are... Oh, 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 no. (laughs) Yeah. Uh 
so I'm not, not gonna go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Just remember, as as we don't have laundry, that means I get to throw dirty socks at you. Oh no, the juicy kinds. <laughs> That's like every sock you have when you wear. Oh man, come on. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe yes. Except when you wear your airy, aired out tennis shoes. Yeah, aired out because they got holes in them. <laughs> But even then, though, they still get sweaty. They, they do. They do. It's really weird. Um, Christine says, yep, completely useless information about Star Wars and Star Trek. Yeah, I got that problem. I really do. And she <coughs> says, congrats. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, I'll hail the Emperor. Emperor Scroob. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. I, You're I, not going to be a space bull? Uh, no. Goodness gracious. Why is it no. Emperor's I, I know where <laughs> I, I know where that came from, but no. What, space balls? It, yes. No. <laughs> Come on. It'll be fun. Uh, no? No. <laughs> I could be Dark Helmet. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> No breaking the Teresa today. Oh, pfft. It's so easy to break you, we can't not do it. Okay, look, see, there it goes already. No, no, no. <laughs> yep, there it goes again. Oh, my. So it was it was a rather tense night last night. It was. It was. You know, there, were, there, was a, there was a lot of comments on the, on the election stuff from mm-hmm. last night. Um, some were good, some were bad, some were people were wondering what was <gasps> going on. Uh-oh. Brian, no! What did he say? What did he say? Pineapple is not a pizza topping. Yeah. Yes, it is. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. With no pepperoni. infinity. <laughs> no infinity. With pepperoni. No. <laughs> no. We do not put fruits on the pizza. We just put pineapple on the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> And Lareal says, good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And thank you all for liking, commenting, and sharing. I'm going to keep putting that out there because it actually is really important. And it and helps us out a lot. It does. It really does. It makes it worth our while. So I did not mean to cut you off, but Brian's Brian's comment was like fighting words for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fighting words. Watch out. <laughs> the emperor strikes back. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's gonna anyway. be one of those days. It is. What? We can put away all day. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, Gina says yes. It is. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> and David says good morning from Bra- from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Well, hello out there, yeah. Louisiana. I think it's in Louisiana. I, yes, yes, it okay. is in Louisiana. It's early in the morning. <laughs> my geography sometimes can be a little <laughs> fuzzy. Yeah, I don't think Baton Rouge has moved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, Brian says, I'm a catalyst this morning. It's on. <laughs> Bring it. A <laughs> little bit of platinum in the morning. Never heard anyone. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> uh, so, oh, oh. Uh, what, he uh, is definitely a catalyst. Uh-oh. What you got? Brian says, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Oh. You now are you're so just wrong. wrong right there. <laughs> I actually went out. On one of the, what was it? It was a Christmas or two ago. I actually went out to buy all of the Die Hard movies for a Christmas movie marathon. They only had them in Blu-ray, so I had to buy a Blu-ray player just to watch my favorite Christmas movies. Just saying. They are Christmas movies. Definitely. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, what? No, just... No, okay. Just Brian, he's like... Yeah, he's in there. He's poking, man. Poking, poking. <laughs> so we had, uh, we, we did have the elections last night. It was yes. interesting. Um, there was stuff. We actually did a live broadcast. I figured, you know, originally I wasn't going to do, like, the whole news station election coverage because it didn't really occur to me to do that. And then I was like, oh, yeah, d- most news stations actually, like, do that. And there's, like, all this suspense. And, and, and everyone's like, oh, so I figured... I guess I probably should. Like I said, originally didn't think of it, and then I was like, eh, I guess we should do that. And so we did it, and it was so exciting. <laughs> there was a live streaming feed of the ballot counting room where apparently only one person works and only occasionally moves. <laughs> <laughs> and not very far, I might add. <laughs> I don't even, it was like, why do you have a live feed of a room where no one is doing anything? Unless it was all happening on, like, the other side of the room and we just never saw it. How 
that is it. it yeah, work. It, it was really weird with the camera angle going up into. Yeah, you could see mostly attic, <laughs> and then there was a monitor, and you could see the back of some dude sitting over at his table, and occasionally he'd lean back and stretch, and I'm like, is he doing anything? Maybe it was the break room? I don't know. <laughs> not really sure what was going on. But there was a cage in there that yeah, was locked the for the ballots. Maybe that's what it was. It was a security camera for the ballot cage that they never opened. <laughs> or that we saw that they opened. I don't know, man. It was weird. <laughs> Yeah, it was very strange. <laughs> Gina says, what? They've always been Christmas movies. Yes. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Two to one, Brian. It's three, on. Three to one. <laughs> three to, oh, yeah, three to one. Really? Really? We don't count That you. was the... Oh. <laughs> Flick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get counted. No. <laughs> that was the one thing that he brought up that we agreed on. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It why. was an anomaly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> David says behind the camera action. Behind the camera action. Yeah. So yes. yeah, we decided to go ahead and put up that stream, and and then uh, and then I figured, well, since that was so freaking boring and they weren't actually doing anything, occasionally I would I would turn on the microphone and use my sultry voice <laughs> to uh, you know to please the masses, and uh, finally <laughs> I got my head in there. I just went ahead and turned on the camera. I'm like, hey, everybody, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> gotta add some kind of level of excitement here. People were dying. <laughs> one, one thing I I was noticing um, with 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 you coming in with your voice, mm -hmm. it was to it helped me at least because I was in my office uh -huh. waiting for the results and um, updating those. To realize that it wasn't a paused video. Yes, <laughs> it looked like a picture. <laughs> it did, and it wasn't. There was a clock running, and every once in a while, you could see the guy move a little. <laughs> I was like, "Oh look, it's alive!" <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a, a still frame. It really wasn't. Um, Brian says, "I think you were campaigning within seventy-five feet on that one." I'm all foul. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness! <coughs> As you tell me, die quietly. <laughs> yeah, good having more to. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There's something in the air, man. It is. There is definitely. It I am messing with my sinuses. I I just my whole thing was I just need some Benadryl. Yeah. <laughs> but I will be well, functional <laughs> yeah. for the next Benadryl. Day. When you don't, you know, the reason why it doesn't hurt anymore or make you sneeze is because you're in a coma. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's what that does. I tell you what. Like, for an entire day. <laughs> yep. 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 That would be it. <laughs> so, uh, we do have uh, some uh, statistics. Did you send them to us, Lois? No, I did not. What? What? I asked you to pull them up, and you did not bring them? What statistics would you like? For the... How many people voted in Paige? 1,101 people. 1,101 people in Paige voted, which is how many percentages of the voted, registered voters? 31.2 or 5. That's my dys dyslexia kicking in. 31 percent? Yes. I mean, that's not too bad. It's better than last time. It is a lot better than last time. So we are, we're getting better out there. Yeah. And that's <clears> out of... And, and this is just registered for the primaries. Um, that's out of 3,499 people registered. That's pretty good. So I'd say that's not too shabby at all. <laughs> so good on you, Paige. Good on oh, you. Well, Kelly says I'm sneezy too. <laughs> yeah. It's no fine. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was actually relatively impressed by the turnout uh, the, when the first numbers came in, and you thought it was all of them. I'm like, really? Uh, uh, yeah, I it, uh, like there's only 16 percent of people voted. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm moving. I was, trying, <laughs> I was trying to figure out because they were saying all precincts were 100 percent reporting, and I'm like. Uh. <laughs> like that, wait a minute, what? <laughs> that was a little it's confusing. It, it, it was, it was. And mm. I, I actually found a county whose elections breakdown um, makes more sense. Oh, yeah. Our, <laughs> our breakdown is freaking bizarre, man. It you is. gotta have like a degree in idiot to be able to figure it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> What? <laughs> um, no, that that one actually looks like it's the standard, and the so county I weird. no, and the county I found mm -hmm. is the oddball. It looks like everybody, the majority of counties use this one format, and okay. the county I found that is easily you know understandable is is the outlier. Hmm. And I was like, no, you know, we should all move to that one. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, 31% is, is, a, is actually a pretty decent it's, number. It's, it's more than I was is. expecting, which yes. is awesome and better yes. than last time. Yeah. I think last time it was something either 16 or 19%. Yeah, so going up to 30, we almost yeah. doubled it. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> hey, Paige, you go, little buddy. <laughs> now we just need to get everybody 100% out for the general. Right, yeah, I was going to say there is another election coming up. Mm-hmm. The general election. Yep, and yep. that's where everything will be decided. Yep. Well, not everything, but most of everything. There's going to be the uh, the, the mayors. Do, do we know which ones made it? Um, Levi Tappan uh-huh. and Bill Dyack. Levi Tappan and Bill Dyack will be on the general election, yes. and you can vote for them there. So, yeah. Yep. Um, Kelly says, I heard from a young person, quote, this one for now, I should vote when it's fixed anyway. You know, it's people like that that are causing the problems with the lack yeah. of voting. It's not rigged, man. No. Get it your butt out there. Quit getting excuses and vote. Yep. <sighs> Pretty much. You just—it's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> if you don't vote, all the people that like the ones that are in there right now are going to vote, and that person's going to stay in. If you want a different person, vote. It's pretty straightforward. Just do it. It's like a Nike commercial, man. Just do it. <laughs> or the hatchet from the other day. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> and Kelly said, um, I, I'm thinking Kelly is uh, what? What? adding on to what she heard from a young oh. person. Why should I vote? Why should you vote? Yeah. Do you want things to change? If yes, then vote. If no, then stop talking about it. <laughs> If you don't vote, you can't complain. It's just the way it works, man. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I hear that. So I, I actually talked to to a few people yesterday. Is it? I talked to a few people. I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, have you gone out and vote today? And uh, we had one 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 of the people I asked. They're like, they're like, no, I haven't had time yet. I'm like, well, the polls are open until seven. She's like, I'm tired. I understand that, but it only takes like five minutes if you know who you're voting for. You go in there, you fill in the little bubbles, put the paper in the machine, and get a sticker. It's kind of like getting a shot when you were a kid or going to the bank. You get a sucker, you get a sticker. (coughs) What? I'm just letting you go. (coughs) So that was one of them. (coughs) I had, um, let's see, what was another one? Another person was very sad that they hadn't voted yet, and they decided they weren't going to vote because they didn't research the stuff enough before going to the polls, so they didn't want to just cast their votes. Which I can understand, but, I mean, it doesn't take that long to figure out who's doing what and everything. I mean, there was plenty of, uh, of interviews, there's plenty of videos talking about, I mean, you could have just watched some of it and figured out what was going on, but at least they're, they're actually... What would what, what, what the, they're like? Uh, what were, I'm trying to think of it. Like reasoning out. It, yes. Like actually thinking about it, not just making random choices. That's always right. a good thing. <clears throat> and then there was another one that was just like, nope, don't care. I was like, oh. like you will, you will, <laughs> but you will care. But yeah. the, you know, in all honesty, can't complain if you don't put your voice out. There. Yeah, but they will. I realize that. That's the problem with that, you know? Yeah. You can't complain if you don't vote. Yeah. And then if you do vote, you can complain your brains out if, if whatever's going on is not, I mean, you know. So show up to city council meetings or watch the live streams, you know, and uh, vent your spleen. Vent your spleen. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. Oh, no. What, Lois? What? <laughs> we, have, we have more stuff on this. Oh. Stuff. What's going on Gina over there? says the non-voters will be the biggest complainers. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much the way that works. Oh, boy. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Kelly says, this old lady went into her dissertation about why you should get out and vote, and the fixed part is all baloney. Mm-hmm. You're just lazy, and you don't care about how the government stacks up. So when it hits the fan, (laughs) you can look at yourself in the mirror and understand you're part of the problem. Pretty much. (laughs) Yeah, it's just laziness is all that is. It's rigged. It's only rigged because you're not voting. Yeah. The people that that, that, that do go out and vote, they're the ones that are swinging things. If you want it to be changed, you gotta go and vote. If there's more of them than there are of you, then it's, you know, it's rigged because you didn't vote. <laughs> so you did it to your damn self. <laughs> C. 
See, now, one of the things I noticed, because I looked at the uh, state's numbers, and you you get a lot of people saying, I want change, I want change, I want change. Ugh, yes. But Everyone wants change! But incumbents were voted and won for the general. Yeah. So apparently like, those people that are like, it's minute. rigged, didn't vote. Or the ones that are like, I want change, didn't vote. Well, you want change, you don't vote. It don't change. <laughs> one plus one is two. That's how it works. <laughs> well, except for the next one. Never mind. <laughs> I was talking about Real the reasoning here. I wasn't talking about the actual how they figure this crap out. <laughs> That's just oh, a mess. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> but that's how that works. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, if you want change, be the change you want. If not you, then who? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I keep <laughs> preaching around here. If not you, then who? And if not now, when? If you're not going to do it, who the heck else is going to? You got to start change in yourself. That's how that works. Quit being lazy. Oh, what was it? What? There was... When I was doing a research class, you you ask, if not you, then who? Yes. There There is a psychological syndrome. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's uh, the oh, Genovese. The, I don't remember the name of it, but I know what you're talking it, about. Yeah, where I'm not going to act, but somebody else will. Yeah, it's that group mentality yeah, yeah. thing. Because, because you're in a group, you think somebody else will take care of it for you. Well, that's not the way the world works. <laughs> you know, and they don't think the way that you think. So if you want something different, you should oh my say goodness. something. The, definitely. I was watching a video that came across my feed yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, you talk about, you know, they don't think like you. Mm -hmm. Well, this person was interviewing two friends. And, <laughs> I get that and they were talking about elections. And they were talking about um, Trump. Mm -hmm. And one gal says, I voted for Trump. And the other gal says, you did what? <laughs> yeah, they didn't even know. <laughs> nope. That's kind of funny. I mean, it you know, was I hilarious. <clears throat> and then, of course, it, you you came in because you heard all the beeps. Yeah, I come hearing this <laughs> beep, 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 <laughs> la, 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 beep, beep, la, 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 beep. I'm like, what the heck are you watching in there? <laughs> Sound like a security alarm. Lots of beeps. Lots of beeps. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's how they uh, just. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, if not, even you, then who? Take personal right. responsibility for your own actions and your own destiny and do something. Oh, so frustrating. It's, it's, it's like such an obvious thing. I'm just saying. It is. I'm not going down that road this morning. <laughs> All right. I, I could so go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, I am going to go down the road. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was going to say, you're useless today, Lois. Um, go wash my laundry. There... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> there are a lot of really obvious things that even if it hit certain people in the face, they still wouldn't get it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, fine. I mean, really? Well, <laughs> It just, it, it seems so simple to me. I mean, if, if you want something, go get it. Do it. So is, is that the excuse thieves use? I want something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. Pretty much. I had yes. To. <laughs> but there are other ways to do that. <laughs> yes, if you're a thief, that would be one way to do it. But you could probably do some other things and plan it out so that you could get the same thing and not be a criminal piece of scum that Batman would then hang off of a roof. <laughs> Just saying. I love how you tied Batman into this. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, so, yeah, yesterday was very interesting. Yep. LPNN was out and about for most of the day. Yes, we were. There was all kinds of fun stuff going on with that. Oh, yeah. Remember, this wow. is the morning show. This is not the unbiased news. So if you if you don't like it, go away. <laughs> saying. So we had <clears throat> we had some issues yesterday morning. We were talking about the seventy five foot rule. Yes, the seventy five foot rule. And, and Mr. Keller brought that up earlier. <laughs> oh, did he? Oh, I didn't yeah, see it. It, it, I read it to you. We we left. Man, whatever happened to you in here, out there? I don't know what's going on. Nothing. I, I retain nothing. That's why I know so much about Star Wars and Star Trek. 
That I for some reason that stuff sticks. It does. <laughs> it does. It's like one of those little sticky hands that yeah. you got. <laughs> yeah, a little gummy sticky hands. <laughs> Those are fun. Yes, <laughs> oh, no. Until they get dirty. And around here with the dog oh, hair, oh. it didn't ever work. Well, even with the dirt. Yeah, sand dirt. <laughs> anyway, back to my train of thought, Lewis. So, there's a thing called the 75-foot rule, which means from the entrance of the building where you're voting, 75 feet away, there's supposed to be a sign that posts the 75-foot rule, and within that distance, you're not allowed, or the candidates are not allowed to campaign, they're not allowed to have signs, blah, 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 blah. That's the rule. Yeah. And so what they have is um, the, the county sends out an election package to go to election officials that are at, you know, at the thing, and w one of the things that comes with it is a string that's 75 feet long. And they're supposed to measure it, put the signs at the end of it, blah, blah, blah. They also get other stuff. I mean, it just, it's part of the process. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday we had a bunch of people texting us, emailing us, calling us. I ran into a few people, <laughs> which is awesome. Thank you for being part of the network. Yes. But there were some concerns that perhaps this rule was not being followed. So as I... LPNN, we're like, well, we are a news company. We should probably go check on that. Yes. And so we did. And so the, the first one we went to was uh, over at the community townhouse. Yes. We went over to the community townhouse, and I pulled up, and from a visual inspection, I was like, hmm, that does not look right. <laughs> but, you know, eyeballing things doesn't necessarily mean that it's not, you know, I mean, maybe I was off. I wasn't, but... <clears throat> I'm really good, uh, you know, from being in the Marine Corps with being able to judge distances so I can sight my rifle in. So I'm just looking at it going, yeah. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so we decide that we're going to go ahead and and, uh, and, and check this out. So I, I, I asked the uh, one of the election officials, I'm like, do you, you, do you guys have the string? Uh, you know, can we, can we please run that out so that I can get a picture of it and show the audience that it's in fact 75 feet to the sign. And she says, why sweetly? <laughs> well, not exactly that way. And so we ran it out. Mm, it was a little iffy. Just saying, a little iffy. We won't go into too many specifics, but we did have some other concerns that, well, the string doesn't have any numbers on it. Makes sense. The string doesn't have numbers. How can we verify it? 75 feet. So I went out and got one of those little measuring wheels that you can walk with. And we decided to do it live. And we've got those videos on our news feed. What is with you over there? I'm just... <laughs> you're just making faces. I am. Like, I can't believe you're saying this on the show. No, this is my... I'm trying not to laugh because of the absurdity that we ran into. Yeah, we won't go into the specifics of that one. <laughs> well, that's why. But apparently some people think I can get hoodwinked and just take their word for it. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm a news station. I investigate. I won't go into why <laughs> I agreed with the people that there should be numbers on the thing. But anyway, so I went over there. We did a live uh, a live feed, and we measured it out. And in fact, it was 52 feet, not 75. And there was a sign that was within the 75-foot range. We did mention last night that we would be talking about who it was because there is another incident that, uh, that was reported to us last night and that we confirmed... Um, Mr. Carey, Brian yes. Carey, his sign was within the 75 foot rule. And so once I actually went out there and measured it out, the, the, the people were like, oh, we should probably move the sign. I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> so we got them on video. They moved the sign and they, and, they, and they did this. And then they had to take Mr. Carey's sign and move it farther out because it was within the zone. So there was that one. Uh, we did actually call the Coconut County Recorder's Office. And uh, we were told that her official that was uh, actually doing all of this stuff out there had gone out with a tape measure and video recorded and verified that uh, that the distances were true. Which is interesting because I was standing next to him um, when we were doing this stuff and I didn't see a tape measure. But anyway, <clears throat> we did talk to him later and uh, and he actually helped with, uh, with fixing the 75 foot rule. So that's a good thing. We did get that taken care of. And uh, you have nothing to say. I'm, 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 I'm keeping my mouth shut. Actually, Why? It, the whole thumper rule. Thumper. Huh? If you have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. It's at the all. morning show. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the morning show. 
Well, I guess we don't need you here today. No, then. no. <coughs> I'm, I'm just letting you go because everything that I, I'm thinking in my head has to, it, it pertains to things that you've already said. We're not going to go into that. So, mm-hmm. all right. <laughs> So anyway, we went out and we and we and we decided. Well, we don't want to leave anybody out, so let's go ahead and check all of the polling stations. Yes. And so we did. One out of four was in compliance with the seventy-five foot rule. Yes. And this was after we called the county official, and they told us that everything was kosher, which in fact it was not. Um, so went out, we measured. They were all wrong. But when I was out there measuring um, the voting official people, they came out and they're like, oh, and then they moved it. So we got that problem so situated for everybody so everybody could be happy. And there was there, there was only one actual violation of a campaign sign inside the 75-foot rule over at the townhouse. Now, the other signs that they had to the 75-foot rule, those were not at 75 feet, but there weren't any campaign signs in there anyway. Right. So right. just the one. So, uh, yeah, let's see what else was there. Oh, we had, uh, is there anything else with the measuring thing? Mm-hmm. No. No, we're good. No. So we did do that. And then, uh, let's see, what else did we do? We went, uh, oh, we got a call later in the day. Actually, we got an email um, from somebody named Jean, and she mentioned some things that were kind of hinky going on over at, uh, at, at, at the uh, one of the polling locations. Well, we actually had some other information that we wanted to get from. Yeah, that one was odd. Yeah, we actually had some other information that we needed to check on. Uh, we, we heard somebody messaged us and said that they thought there was going to be a county official here, that they were going to be given some kind of voting results, and we're like, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided to go <laughs> check on it. Um, and at the same time, since we got the email, we decided to check on this other thing. So we went out, We went down to City Hall. We checked on the, uh, the county official. They weren't actually going to be there, which we didn't think so, but... Eh. Always best to verify. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and then I ditched you outside. You went, you know, and yeah. did your thing. So we went to the, uh, I went to, we, you stayed I, outside. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and and that, that's another reason why I really don't have a lot to say during, about all of this. Yeah, you because were there. I, I was outside of the 75 feet. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So anyway, decided to go in and verify what uh, someone had emailed us last night. And, uh, well, it was true. There was a candidate sitting inside of the polling area with one of his uh, one of his campaign pins, just kind of hanging out, which uh, is against the rules. Uh, the rules, you know, state that you go in, you vote, and you get out. It doesn't matter who you are. You're not allowed to stay in the polling location unless you're one of the one of the officials. Yes, or appointed by the county as an elected represent represent representative for a political party. Right, and I mean, I guess that's possible, but I seriously doubt it, right? Uh, when it we're comes to the, or something? Yeah, when yeah. it comes to the local, it is nonpartisan, so there is no <laughs> political party. Yeah, so the person was, uh, the, the uh, candidate was hanging out in the political location next to uh, the one of the voting officials and everything, and we're like, so uh, we talked to him for a few minutes. I love how you, you say we. Well, it's the royal <laughs> we. You were out in the parking lot standing behind the sign. <laughs> I was. Which was kind of funny. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, we, you know, obviously he was there. It verified the email that we received, which was rather interesting. And um, so we decided to, uh, to, to, to see what was going on with that. Uh, that would be also Mr. Brian Carey. He was in there. Um, and uh, we called the uh, we, we called the county recorder again to see what was going on, and apparently, yeah. Anyway, that was a whole other story. County recorder, very interesting person. I will have to get back to that one on a different note. But either way, she said the, the you know obviously that is a big no no, and so they would have him removed. Yes. So anyway, you guys were wondering what was going on last night. That's why we didn't say anything last night. Yeah, you know it was. It was a fine line we had to walk on that one because yeah, it was election night. But there was, was a general election coming up, so you could still get the information and help you make your decision for the general right. election if we give you the information today. It doesn't look like he made it into no. the general election, so it's kind of a moot point. But either way, now you know what we were talking about last night. Yes. So you're and, and, not uh, well, I, useful I at just, all today. I, I am useful, <laughs> but everything I want to say would have to be done on an unplugged. <laughs> If you want to know what we really think about what was going on yesterday and all of the shenanigans, I, they can't hear me. You're laughing too much. Lois Broken Counter, who knows? So, anyway, if you would like to hear 
what we really think about oh. this and the in-depth stuff of what was going on yesterday, we do have a, a, a secret society group that you can join for $10 a month called Behind the Hat Unplugged. And that is where you can get my unfiltered, uncensored craziness. Yeah, unbleeped. Yeah, the unbleeped <laughs> version of the truth. <laughs> Things that are not appropriate for the normal main no, news feed. No, no, but you do no. get some interesting insights and get to hear me ranting and raving and, you know, generally uh, having a good time. Contesting equipment. <laughs> yeah, contesting equipment. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh actually fun. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we'll have to put up a clip of that later so people can see. Be like, why should I join behind the head on plug? Because you get to see stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. We just need to go through and find one that doesn't need to be bleeped. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the one where I was testing out the, the sound system didn't need to be bleeped too much. Uh, uh, yeah, too much. <laughs> well, you, can, you can cut it and make it. Uh, <laughs> no fun. So, anyway, uh, it was... Uh, <clears throat> That was the uh, election thing. Kind of interesting. Now you guys mm -hmm. know. Um, Gina says, someone didn't read the rules or just ignored them. Actually, um, that one I'll have to put in an unplugged thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I had some personal experience with, you know, and had a conversation with. And if you would like to know that, well, let me know. Ten bucks a month. Excuse me. <laughs> You're helping fund LPNN. Yes. So... <clears throat> Yeah, we'll oh. do that one in the unplugged. So we will. We will. Actually, I think did I? I think I did. Didn't I? <laughs> no, um, because of things that I had learned in doing research right. from what Gene had the information Gene had given us. Oh, okay. So you no, know, I know, but I mean, was, when I was ranting and raving about it yesterday in unplugged, I think I already mentioned the conversation that I had had. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. <laughs> yesterday anyway. was a bit up and down for me. <laughs> You even asked me how I felt last night. She didn't know. She was just like... I'm like, I don't know. Are you nervous? I don't know. Are you happy? I don't know. Yeah, she was just kind of in shock, I think. System shock. Well, oh, David says, but the rules did not apply to them. They are special. Yeah, just like most big government stuff, the rules don't apply to them. Wait, yes, they do. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. Unplugged. Yep. <laughs> oh my, he just went full chicken. Yep. <laughs> Never go full chicken. <laughs> Excuse me. You, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. It was an overall an interesting day. We got to travel around town and meet folks yeah. and get talked to and all I that got, good stuff. I got to learn some interesting stuff about the county. I now yeah. have questions. Yeah, um, more questions than we did because. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's another unplugged right there. Uh, yeah. But <clears throat> well, no, it has to do with state law versus district court case decision. It, it, I don't, I'm not real, I don't really comprehend the idea of the state having a law that is really strict and a county not having to follow that but a court decision. I, who it, knows, it, man. Do, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Well, so, you're the legal analyst. That's supposed to be your thing. So. Yeah, that one I don't understand, though. It's like, wait a minute. Doesn't that... I don't know. In my understanding of law, federal takes precedence. Then you can... Well, it shrink depends. It down with because it's actually state. supposed to be... You're right. It's then supposed you to be you start here and then go out. You know, it's the bottom up. And instead, it's top down. So it's it's well, kind of what I'm getting, wumpus what from I'm what it was originally is, intended. But anyway, what I'm getting at is federal gives you the foundation, mm. then the state can narrow it, and then local can narrow it even more. But you can't go the other way around. Yeah, well, technically. So mm. that that's yeah. Yeah, that's a it's philosophical an, debate for another oh, time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Just oh saying. my goodness. So anyway. I would like to move on from our elections PSA, uh, well, if that's okay. This is a PSA? We have a it PSA. ended up being a PSA. It wasn't a PSA, we were just explaining stuff. <laughs> Earlier it was a PSA. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I will be right back. You go ahead and pull up uh, or start reading something. I'm start reading something. Yeah. Okay, yay. Thanks, because they all have pictures. Oh, my goodness. And he's laughing in the background. Oh, I, okay, good. I had to double check and make sure I had not uh, completely disappeared. So, let's see. We have, really, we definitely do have, uh, we have pictures. Where's our morning show stuff? 
morning show stuff. Or morning stuff. Morning stuff. Okay. Hey, there we go. And look at that timing. <laughs> I had already resized it for you, Lois. Oh, why, thank you. See, look at that. Shall I pull it over now? Yes. All right. Oh. What on earth is that? Those are two new flavors of Oreos. Two new flavors of Oreos? Two new oh. flavors of Oreos. <laughs> However, one would probably go well with tuna. <laughs> ah, he, ah, he, ah. <laughs> So, last week, I don't know how I missed this last week, but last week, um... I, Let me I preface this with, these are not Halloween-flavored or oriented Oreos, okay? And by oriented, I mean maybe oriental. But anyway. <laughs> Mondelez <coughs> International, which is the parent company of Oreo. Ooh. Mondelez? Mondelez? I thought it was Nabisco. No, it, it's it, not Nabisco. It, it, it. <laughs> this is the international parent company of Oreo. <laughs> they revealed two new additions to the Oreo lineup, flavor lineup last week. Yeah, you told me about this last night. <laughs> now it's just like... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> now, you can only get these flavors in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one right What's here... What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> the orange one right here, um, it... It is hot chicken wing flavor. Hot chicken wing Oreos. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get some of that on the barbecue. Yeah. This one right here <laughs> is wasabi. Wasabi flavored Oreos. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just no. This is nasty. <laughs> so <sighs> I I came across that and I went, okay. No. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, but damn! <laughs> oh, that's vile! I, I just couldn't. Who thought chocolate wasabi was a good idea? I, you know what? In all honesty, I would like to try one. Just to see what it tastes like. <laughs> I mean, really. Because you never know. I hate wasabi. And I hate Oreos. You ain't sticking that thing in my mouth. <laughs> well, you're just a lost cause anyway, then. It, since you don't like Oreos. What really. is wrong with you? I don't like Oreos. <laughs> Although I do like like Oreo blizzards. Those are okay. But All right. I don't like plain Oreos. Gina says no and yuck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but you've got chicken flavored. Ew. I, Hot chicken wings. See, I'm... I wouldn't mind trying the wasabi. Just a bite. But I, I'm one that... For my Oreos, I have to stick them in milk. I do not know that that would work. I don't know, man. Be... <laughs> <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. But yes, if you are in China or you find yourself over there, you can pick up uh, some uh, uh, new flavors of Oreos. <laughs> and uh, let us know if you survive. <laughs> <laughs> let us know how yes. they taste. Are you getting violently ill? Oh no. Yes. <laughs> so okay, the next one. We're we're um we're going down a food hole here real quick. Is that your mouth? And no. <laughs> what well, are you saying? It's a food hole. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a rabbit hole. <laughs> All right. What else? What else you got? No. No. <laughs> All right. What? This one right here. Mm. This one. Yep. Uh, now, all right. The, the Texas State Fair is getting ready to kick off at the end of September. Okay. Okay. And apparently, every year they have. Um, a contest for new foods. Okay. All right. Scroll down. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Keep going. Nope. Keep going. There we go. Oh, what do we got? <laughs> so uh, this year, <laughs> this year they um, had their best taste in three, di um, two different categories: sweet okay. and savory. Oh, sweet and savory. And um, Fernie's hopping, hopping John cake with jackpot sauce won the savory. Wait a minute. Say that ten times yeah. fast. Fernie's hopping John cake with jackpot sauce. You know, that <laughs> sounds like a bad movie. And by movie, I mean porn. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, I went there. It <laughs> sounds like it. Fernie's hopping John cake with jackpot sauce. That sounds horrifying. Oh, Diana says dip it in beer or sake. The Oreos. 
You know what? You might be on to something there. <laughs> Kelly says Grody. <laughs> oh, David. What? Oh, you spoiled it. <laughs> oh, no. Is, oh, well, is it the David? Is it David? I think it is. No, yes. That's not what, I think it is. what did it say? So it says, uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, he already knows what's going on. Yeah, and and David did mention the uh, winner for most creative, the uh, cotton candy taco. A cotton candy. A cotton candy taco. taco. <laughs> How does it even work? It's a co- it's cotton candy, and I don't know what flavor of cotton or well, it's a white cotton candy. I'm trying to look at it here. That's like, in yeah. a t- um, like a waffle shell. Okay, like a waffle cone kind of shell. Yeah, like a waffle cone shell. Mm-hmm. Um, like. Choco Taco. Choco Taco. Do you remember those? The ice creams? Choco uh, yes, I never ate them, but Okay. Yes. So it looks like that, but it's cotton candy. That is so strange. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it to go I, up here. Uh-huh. Give me just a second here. There we go. Oh, I don't even want to know how they... I, I do, but I don't want to know how they did that. What? Dave says, there is nothing like Texas State Fair Foods. Fried beer was awesome. Fried beer? I'd, I'd give that a try. <laughs> I, I just... There we go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to pull over so you guys could see the, the things. So, um, this, let's see, this one here, this is the... Uh, Fernie's Hoppin' John Cake with Jackpot Sauce. All right, and then the next one is the winner of Best Taste Sweet is the Arroz Con Leche, which is a sweet, crispy rice. That that, was That's so... the middle one. Uh, you you want to get an accent to me, Louis? <laughs> I, I just Americanized it. It's Arroz Con Leche. It's a sweet, crispy rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Man, you I give can't. me some kind of foreign, foreign, uh, you know, language on the screen. I will Americanize that to death. <laughs> I'm good at it. It's like your favorite wine. It's Merlot. Your favorite wine is Merlot. Arroz con leche. What? Did you just get <laughs> accent on Yes, this? I did. Okay, can you say that again, please? No, I'm not. Arroz con leche. Oh no. <laughs> Sweet crispy rice. And then we have the cotton candy taco. Oh, it's my. the winner for most creative. A cotton candy taco. You know, I would probably just... Uh, these ones I could actually see giving it a shot. Versus, unlike the Oreos? Yeah, unlike the Oreos. These I could, but he, like uh, like David said, you know, the, the, uh, the fair food in Texas is second to none. Those guys are crazy. They'll deep fry anything. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, whoa, man. <laughs> Like you, you, they spend like the entire year before the fair trying to invent something new to deep fry. <laughs> they do. They really. I mean, that's where deep fried butter comes from, which is really good, by the way. Sadly, I know it sounds horrible. It's epic. <laughs> Same thing with like deep fried pickles. You would like them. I guarantee it. I don't like dill pickles. I know, <laughs> but you would like these. I'm just saying they deep fry everything. They probably have deep fried mayo. <laughs> Ew. Oh, <laughs> it's probably good. <laughs> you can deep fry anything. Oh no, oh no. You just gotta figure out exactly how to play. So below this are the finalists for oh. the savory category for this year. The finalists, you say? Yes. All right, let's see what we have here. We have. Uh, oh, sh- sh- I guess I should put these up. Huh? Yeah, yeah, probably. There we go. These are the finalists. And there's two more at the b- below. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. So, so you have deep fried shepherd's pie. See, I told you I you deep fry anything. That. <laughs> that sounds good. Deep fried shepherd's pie. I could get behind that. They look like, <laughs> uh, in all honesty, they look like stuffed hush puppies. <laughs> This, that looks pretty darn tasty. That's uh, this one. Y- yes, that's that Deep one. Deep fried shepherd's pie. And then the one to your that one. Yep, left, <laughs> Texas Fried Hill Country. What it's is fried it? mozzarella oh. and complemented with locally grown basil sandwiched between two slices of juicy green tomato. Oh, green tomatoes. It's fried green tomatoes. It is with um, mozzarella. It's like deep fried cheese with some seasonings. No, <laughs> I can get behind that too. <laughs> I'll just take the tomatoes, please. No. <laughs> and uh, this one right here yes. is Texas Twanky or Twankai. Twankai, huh? Or Twanky. Twanky. I think it's Twanky. Cornbread cake is baked to moist perfection, hollowed out, and filled with a culinary masterpiece of Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex grilled chicken, <laughs> white bean chili, 
Each twanky is served with cornbread fries and more chili for dipping. A savory twist on an American cat classic. So it's like a Twinkie, but it, it's a... a, a, a yeah. <laughs> it, it's like it's a, cornbread and gravy. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's like it's like a Twinkie, but it's savory. <laughs> and and you and David were on the same thought about the deep fried butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. For those that know, so, they know. Oh. And then we have. Let's see if I can get this up in here. There we go. And uh, deep fried skillet potato melt in a boat. It has potatoes. Yeah, I have to try it. it. <laughs> Buttery skillet <laughs> potatoes are griddled golden brown, combined with diced breakfast sausage patties and packed around a mini bubble cheese loaf. <laughs> Baby Bell. Baby Bell. Ah, <laughs> you know loaf. the one with the cow on it? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> and then, of course, this one is uh, Fernie's Hoppin' John Cake. Oh, uh, that's the, the one that won. Yeah, Fernie's Hoppin' John Cake with Jet Pot Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I found these... I just, yeah, it's a food thing today. Yeah, apparently. And I think they have the sweets below. Oh, do they? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. All right, let's the see over here. Oh, there we go. Let's go. I'll go ahead and pull that up. So, obviously, the cotton candy taco. And Fern the sweet crispy rice. Yep, yep, on the far right there. Fernie's Orange, you glad we fried it. <laughs> Orange, you glad we fried it. That's pretty good. I can always get behind the buns, man. I can always get behind. <laughs> Layers of chiffon orange cake. Whipped cream and citrusy orange preserves are lightly blended to form a custard filling. The mixture is spooned into flaky puff pastry dough, folded turnover style, and sealed before being fried into little crescent-shaped pillows, dusted with powdered sugar, served with two dipping sauces, and garnished with a double citrus twist slice. That sounds good. It does. You know, I, I would I definitely like my give that citrus a stuff. And you know what? It's deep fried, so I try it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You deep for it? I'll try it. Oh, no. <laughs> Just saying. All right. I have a risk taker. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll probably regret it the next day, but... <laughs> All right, and let's see. State Fair Fun L Cake Ice Cream. All right, and then we got the Sweet Bacon Bacon. Oh, no. That looks like deep fried bacon to me. <laughs> You're in heaven territory now. <laughs> a cream-filled sponge cake is wrapped in savory bacon and then dipped in funnel cake batter. This treat is then deep fried until golden brown and dusted with powdered sugar to finish. I can hear you salivating. <laughs> it's deep fried bacon, man. <laughs> oh. You know, I I saw a meme come across my my uh, feed this morning, mm -hmm. and it said, "You do not ever see somebody frowning when they're eating bacon or a donut." <laughs> <laughs> and that right there is about a bacon wrapped in a donut. Pretty much, I like it. <laughs> I've actually seen bacon donut uh, sandwiches. They actually have that. Oh my! Yeah, you get a donut, you cut it. Is it a Krispy Kreme thing? Huh? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I remember seeing it a few weeks ago, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to try that." Oh, Gina says, "Yum, yeah. bad bacon." Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people say, you know, they're like, "Oh, bacon is bad for you," and this and that, and then so are greasy foods. They are not. I have a philosophy on how this works. If you eat enough grease and oil in your diet, it will coat the inside of your veins so that cholesterol won't stick to them. I would love to see Brian's response to this. <laughs> hey, man, I really would. That's my life philosophy. <laughs> if you eat enough grease and oil, cholesterol can't stick to the inside of your veins because that's what's coating it. Just saying. Or, you it's know like what? Teflon not, for your veins. Not only Brian, but I would love to see any hospital person, <laughs> medical person. Are, are you saying it's not true? I don't believe you. I believe in my philosophy. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm healthy as an ox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been better, you know, um, had you just said, life isn't good for you. <laughs> Pretty much. Life is terminal illness. You're going to die anyway. You might as well coat the inside of your veins with grease and oil so cholesterol won't stick to it and you last longer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines, enjoy yourself. Have fun. <laughs> What? That is because, having fun. Because none of us it's, are getting out alive. It's deep fried bacon. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, um, I know we have time for one more. Mm, yeah. All right. I'll give you a little we, bit. We, we have time for one more. Nice. And this one's a video. 
Scroll oh, up. Oh, man. Scroll up. That's it. Nope. You see a That big... is it. Do you see a big blue link? This? Yes. Okay, well, I said that was it, and you said no, you can go up more. And, and I can't go up more, because it's the job of your face, man. <laughs> so this is a video? Yes, it is a video. All right, so I'm going to have to... <coughs> do, do, oh, Excuse me. Nice. I didn't, no. Uh, no. <laughs> do, 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 do. I have to, I'm resizing. Resizing. Oh, oh, let's see. Dave says, I go to the Texas State Fair for food, new cars, and people watching. In that order. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. So do I. So do I. Um, now, this one, I, I hear a joke in the headline here. Uh oh. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and transition this over. Oh, if I can a, find my a, mouse. A, there we go. A bear walks into a lobby. A bear walks into a lobby? Is that a... That is a black bear. There's a black bear on a coffee table right here. Look, I'm poking him in the butt. He's right there. There's a bear. Now, what makes this even more epic is that this bear, this particular bear, walked into the lobby of the Stanley Hotel. The Stanley Hotel, you say? Yes. Okay. Oh, ye Stephen King fan. Yeah. I Okay. No, I'm just... This... This is the hotel that ins that is known to have inspired The Shining. Actually, that when they shut down and they rebuilt another one and called it the same thing. This one is in Colorado. Both of them are. Oh well, either way. <laughs> so you want to play that game? Okay. Go ahead and play this. Should there be sound? No. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just play this. There's and a this bear was, on a coffee table right there. This right, right, right. was filmed by the night clerk. <laughs> the night auditor late. <laughs> and the best thing about this comment, because they posted it to the hotel's Facebook page. Did they? That's what this is. Okay. And it, they said, late night visitor from the wild side visits our hotel lobby. We'll make an exception to the rule about jumping on the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're stopping that one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, please. <laughs> There's a bear in a coffee table. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> He's like, whoa. Yeah, you better get mad. <laughs> He's just wandering on in. Dum dee dum dee dum. <laughs> just looking around, come for a visit, saying hi. That would be a fuzzy I would die from. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, look, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he did leave a little bit after the video was filmed. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but so what, did they have the doors propped open, or did the bear open the door? Uh, that, I don't know. <laughs> How do you get a bear in your lobby in a hotel? <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad day. Maybe he went through the little rotating door thing. <laughs> oh, my. <mom. laughs> Pushed it in, got stuck, and then came through like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> but, yeah, I could see a joke in there somewhere with the headline. A bear, a bear walks, walks into, into a lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely good. Definitely good. That is fun. But yeah, um, definitely that. I mean, that face, so cute. Yes. I, you would totally get your head ripped off. I would. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know better. I know. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I know better. Wild animal. Sharp teeth. Yep. Sharp claws. Nom, nom, nom. Ten times my weight. <laughs> Pretty much. Just, yeah. Not no, a touchy. And I would still try to touch No touchy. It. <laughs> no touchy. All right, guys. Well, on that amazing joke, I do believe we're going to go. Oh, okay. Gina says, oh, my, and bears can open car doors. Uh, this is true. Yeah. yeah. Not if you so. let them. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. They'll just break the window. Uh, not usually, though. I mean, unless you've got something really tasty in there. I was just being saying. funny. <laughs> anyway, on that amazing note, thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on all these videos. We do appreciate it. Definitely. We thank hope you, you have an amazing... Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Wednesday! Yeah! Woo! <coughs> you yeah. have anything else to add there, Lars? No. Would you like some Rupert then? Yes, please. Rupert! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> we'll see you guys. Do, 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 do,